Hey everyone, this is Mukesh Otwani once again from learnhyperinvestion.com. So guys, today in this video, we are going to talk about a weird exception called invalid argument exception. So if you're completely new to Selenium or if you're just a beginner, right, then I'm sure you must have faced this issue. But the moment you see this exception, right, you will not understand what exactly went wrong because if you just see the description, it says invalid argument exception, that's all. So this can be very frustrating, right, because your first script itself is not working. So you might get demotivated or you might dump this idea and you might move to a different tool or you might not even start automation, right? So in this video, I will show you what exactly this exception, how you can fix it. It's going to be a very quick video, but sometimes a small video can change your complete perspective towards automation. So let me show you when do you get this exception and how do you fix it? So let's get started. Okay, so as you can see, I already have one Maven project, okay? So in case if you have a normal project, Maven project, Gradle project doesn't matter because this exception will remain same so in order to get started i will be using system.set property the first step that we need to set the driver path okay since i'm using chrome driver so i will set webdriver.chrome.driver and in case if you're using webdriver manager in that case you don't have to use this driver.set property webdriver manager automatically take your it will basically download the latest driver and it will set the path also Okay, so right now I have already downloaded chrome driver.exe and it is available in my this location. Okay, so C drive batch recording, this is the folder where I have this exe file. Now the next part, I will say web driver, driver equal to new chrome driver. Again guys, uh, it's not only for chrome, the exception that we are going to discuss will remain same for all the browser. Okay, now once your web driver is ready now let me open any application okay so i will be using this driver object driver dot get and now let me pass any application url okay notice one thing i'm not passing any http or any https i'm just passing www.google.com you can pass any application url okay Now the moment you run this and you will notice it will set the path it will start the chrome browser but it will fail at this particular statement and the simple reason is we are not passing any http or https as you can see it says chrome driver starting only local connections are allowed and yes our chrome started can you see chrome is being controlled by automated test software but if you see on the console now you will see um, invalid argument exception and it says invalid argument it will not show you what exactly went wrong but if you just notice here the problem is happening at line number 14 the moment i click here it is highlighting okay so in order to resolve this you just need to add http or https colon double slash depends whether it's your application is http or https and it should work now See guys, because Selenium works on web automation, right? So it only supports HTTP protocol. So when you don't give any uh, protocol, it could be HTTP, SMTP, HTTP, right? So it is not able to identify. So when you start your application, you have to mention HTTP or HTTPS, then only you can start. So now I have added, now let's run it once again. And this time it should launch your application. And yes, as you can see a uh, chrome driver 99 is starting and once your browser is up and running it will load google.com or any other application that you will pass in the driver.get yeah that's a very quick fix a very quick video but important one because most of the time we just miss this very important part okay so in case if you're a beginner do not make this mistake pass the protocol and this part again if you don't want to use it you can use web driver manager so for example if i just type web driver manager dot chrome driver dot setup it should work because this part is taken care by this web driver manager that's all for this video guys if this video helped you then please do support this channel share with your friends uh, colleagues and subscribe to this channel and in case if you have any other question let me know in the comment section and I will see you in the next video. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.